Okay. So, um, this is the one of the wagon wheels for the cannon we made. Uh, we hadn't ever finished them, and we're finishing them now. So we have the this steel band that we made from a strip of steel. We just kind of curled it up with the thing and um, uh, made it to size. And well, not really quite to size, but um, so what's going to happen here is it's about a quarter inch. Well, Let's see, it's about yeah. If we pull it tight all the way around. We get about a quarter inch diameter. Pull it tight over there. Yeah. You get about a quarter inch or so diameter and, under size. And so what, and we want it like that because what's going to happen, we're going to heat it up to about a thousand degrees. And when you get it that hot, it actually expands. And so while it's hot, you put it over the wheel and get it as close as, as straight as you can. Then you pour water over it really quickly so you don't damage the wheel. Then it shrinks it back and then it pulls it tight together. Sweet. So, and so actually, like when they did this, like pioneers or well, pioneers use rawhide, but same kind of thing. But um, when they made wagon wheels, um, they wouldn't use glue or nails or anything, they just put it there, then just do it, and it shrinks it all and holds it together for years and years. It's awesome. Okay, let's do the, turn the fan on. I gathered up some stuff there for. Oh, okay. Should I go ahead and put that stuff on? Yeah. Try to sprinkle it around the edges, right on top of this thing, all the way around. It's hotter than this thing will read right now. This thing is up to a thousand degrees. It's too hot there. Ow, it burns my hand. Okay, so that's pretty hot right there. So we got that circle steel. We're gonna stick it on this makeshift wood wagon wheel. We're using a box fan to get some extra airflow here to get this really hot. I think we're ready for my crew. Taking a video, right? Yeah. Okay. Here's the last room for this, this is, wheel. This is as hot as this will go. It's a thousand degrees, except for right there. Five hundred degrees. Okay. In here. Should you just do it? Because I can't. Even... Well, it's not very heavy. Well, not that it's heavy, but it's so hot. Come over and go to the other side there. Okay, put the water. Ow! Smoke. More water. I'm getting. We're burning our wood. Too big now. Ow. <laughs> now we can roll it along in the wet wood there. Look at that, guys. That is cool. And it's a little bit off right here, but I bet we won't be able to change it. Give me that hammer. And use this hammer as a bucking bar. Well, that actually, I think it kind of helps. Hold it so it doesn't tip over. Should 
can't really get burned. Um, I need to do it right there. Lift, lift that to the top. There. Oh, that actually kind of good. Look at it. Look around it. That's better than right. that one. Right here, maybe a little bit. That was a lot tighter. It feels a lot tighter. Now we don't have any uh, cracks that we can see light through. Mm -hmm. We can't see the sun through there. So this was, here's the weld we had. We started out with a quarter, about 3 16 inch gap. So we'd wrap the thing and just kind of hold it with our hands and got a 3 16 gap there. And then we did that one and it was a little bit loose. So in this one we took off another almost an eighth and welded it again. So this one's quite a bit tighter. And then we had a better fire too, so we had this one quite a bit hotter than that one. But it's pretty cool how it goes on so easily and then it tightens up and it's just perfect. That's I'm so stoked. It's so awesome. <laughs> he made these things too. It's cool.